Here's my 87 Monte Carlo. And unfortunately, over the years, these spoiler extensions have a way of kind of doing some weird stuff there. The other side's a little worse. I'm gonna show you how I plan on fixing this. So after taking a closer look at what the situation is here, I realized that these two clips that are built into the panel with these retainer clips, they just were loose. So I don't need to really address this area, but this one here is flared out on both sides. And that's really the part that's pissing me off the most. So I'm gonna kinda do a mock-up and you can see right there in the dead center is where I need to focus. So the plan is I'm going to drill a hole right here and I'm gonna make a mark from the back coming in onto the back of the panel. So that way this area right here, I'll show you what we're gonna do in this spot. And it's hardware today. And I definitely suggest supporting this place because this place is a godsend for guys like me that have old cars and need to be creative in engineering. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to do what the factory probably should have done 100 years ago. I bought these clips. You know, they have like the, um, the barbs. And I'm going to epoxy it right here. Then once that's dried nice and hard, I'm going to put that, set that up in there. And on the back side, I'm going to use a fender washer. I'm going to use another nylon washer and I'm going to use my new retainer clip and I'm going to sandwich it in and that's going to suck this panel together like this kind of like how these OEM ones are just bigger and better to address this problem so I'm going to go on my old trusty toolbox and find where all my glues and epoxies are and you can see I got lots of stuff here so I'm going to probably choose this one right here if you care you could use whatever you like but I'm going to use this two-part epoxy it's JB well this stuff works really good is I took this light and I loosened it up so that we can see how much room I need to leave for this little plastic tab. So that's going in there and it covers just about this outline. So after trying, testing and retesting and retesting because I'm so worried, as I went ahead and made a pilot drill with my drill, then I went ahead and I filed it off with my unibit. So that's done. And I want to leave it just not too snug where it's grabbing the barbs of this so we can get through comfortably because I want the um, retainer clip on the back to do all the pulling. I don't want to do that by this getting pushed in there because you can't push this in, get it in this way and that way and this way all at the same time every way. So you have to be very careful with how you do that. So that's my plan. So now I've got this. I'm just going to take a marker from the back, come in, mark it on that, and I'm going to epoxy this piece on there set it up and do a test fit here's a reveal here at the car show that's about as good as you're ever going to get it hit me with any messages you have any questions about this